Twitter light. Okay, I've been ranting about PWAs for like three days in a row. I've been getting interesting feedback from people on them and having some cool discussions and stuff like that. And one of the things that I said is there's literally no PWA that anybody uses as much as a native app. And if PWAs can be as good as native apps, then that should be the case. Even if you just look at, let's say, Android users, just to simplify, right? Because Apple limits stuff real heavily in terms of PWA. Some people said that they use Twitter light. And I'm like, okay, let me check it out, right? They said it's almost exactly the same as native. Well, the jury is in. It is not exactly the same as native. It's very close. It's probably 95%. It's much better than it was whenever the last time I checked it was. Things like video autoplay sometimes work, which I thought was neat and things like that. But however, it is worse than native in pretty much every way. It's worse in very small ways, but it's worse in every way. Things like changing state, switching between tabs is slower and it doesn't remember your state as much. Video autoplay works some of the time. It doesn't work all the time. Just little things like switch again, switching between tabs, little animations, things like that don't work as well. Image upload, video up like, so it's probably 90, 95% as good. And I don't understand why people use it. I really don't. Unless specifically you want to save battery usage. I don't fully understand exactly how much battery usage it saves. Maybe I'm just completely killing my battery like a goofball and not realizing. But yeah, it, I don't understand why people use it unless they have real battery needs or bandwidth needs or something like that. But if you're not restricted by hardware, battery or bandwidth, I don't understand why you'd use it. And I'm probably just thick in the head, but that's my, that's my verdict. I did actually use it a little bit to confirm that I wasn't just imagining that.